Hey, do you suffer from mishit golf shots? One time you chunk it, the next time you thin it, you might even blade it. Well, today I want to talk about what might be causing that. Hey, I'm Mike Peterson with PerformBetterGolf.com. What I want to cover today is the role of the right elbow in the golf swing. I'm going to give you three keys to work on that I think can improve your consistency in your swing. The first thing we want to talk about is looking at where the elbow is at address. So here I, I've got the ball in front of me. Notice how the elbow is right in front of my right hip. Now this might be a no-brainer to think that you've got to get back to this position at impact. So at impact, the only difference is my hips are a little bit open, but my hands are a little more ahead of the ball, and the right elbow is a little deeper into, into impact, into the swing here. But what most golfers, when I analyze them, when I get their swings, is the elbow is back here. It's to the right of the hip and the club gets thrown at the ball. What happens then is that thin shot, the chunk shot, and that's all because of the right elbow in the wrong position at impact. So I really want you to focus on is getting that elbow in front of the hip to the ball. So notice that, the elbow's in front of the hip. Second thing I want to talk about is elbow bend. What I see in a lot of golfers is too much bend in the elbow, especially at the top. There should only be 90 degree bend in the, in the elbow. So if I turn sideways, watch this. Here's my 90, and if I take that 90 and don't bend it anymore and rotate back, there's the top of my backswing, and then if I just take my hand and bring it together, there's a perfect position at the top of the backswing. So it's a 90 degree elbow in the angle. Thirdly, look at where the elbow's pointing, to the ground. If I grab my club and I get to the top, if my elbow is out here, it's pointing way behind the golf ball. See that? So we want to make sure that at the top of the swing, the elbow stays pointing more at the ground like this. So I've got my 90 degree bend in the elbow. I've got the elbow pointing at the ground. That's a perfect top of the backswing position. Now critical coming down, the right elbow has to get reattached to the right hip, but in front of the hip. So if you watch this, the move coming down is the right elbow going down. And you can see how the club stays on plane. What I see a lot of amateurs do is this. So look where the elbow's at. It's pointing behind me here. Once you can get that right elbow coming down, you know you're on plane. We know as we continue down in the downswing, now that elbow gets in front of my hip and I'm in a perfect position to get to impact and hit that golf ball. So if you, if you look at it from the front, here's the ball. I get to the top of my backswing, and as I come down, I'm thinking of this right elbow getting in front of that hip and getting deep into the swing. See that? So from here, you can even do a pump drill, and all I want you to do from here is get that right elbow way deep into your golf swing. If you can work on those three key elements, I think your consistency is going to improve dramatically. Thanks for watching the tip today. If you've got any issues in your golf swing, I'd love to help you, so comment below and I'll get back to you and maybe we'll even shoot a future video. Hit them long and straight.